Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, a zero um, file, uh, a brand new uh, zero file so that you can restore your original zero file into it. So let's go there right now. I'm going to share my screen. So you can, uh, you can create the new file from either what we call zero HQ, which is in gray and lists all your um, company files, or you can do it in zero blue in any of them, um, any of the actual client files. I'm going to use Wiles of Bookkeeping. That's the one I'm going to be using. Um, and again, I could do it from here. If you notice down here, there's something called My Zero. So you can do it from this screen or here as well. You can go to My Zero. So let's just go there. And a new uh, browser will open up. And you can see right here, it says New Organization. So let's go there. And I'm going to call mine similar to my company name. Browser Restore. I'll call it 32 Bookkeeping. Now, uh, depending where you're located, you want to pick the right country. We're located in Canada, so I'm going to leave it in Canada. If you're in Australia, look for Australia. If you're in New Zealand, look for New Zealand. Whichever country the actual original file is in is the one you want to be using. So my files in Canada. Now you have two options here. Start a trial or buy now. If you're buying now, that means you're buying the subscription. I suggest you use the start trial. You get 30 free days with every trial. So let's go there. I also want to tell you that Zero does not allow you to restore um, your original file. So this is why we have to do a brand new file. Okay, so go next. Most of these will be next. There'll be some things that I want to show you, but we'll go from there. Okay. So we can go next here. Skip this one. There's nothing to do here. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out to you. So even if you're in Australia or another country, the standard uh, currency is always the country you're in. So obviously here, I'm in the Canadian dollar. And it says you choose the currency your organization files taxes and reports in. You will not be able to change the setting again after it's set up. So if you're in a different currency, even though you're in, you're in Australia, right? For some reason, you're doing it in US dollars or Canadian dollars or vice versa. Now, I'm in Canada and I'm doing US dollars. This is the time to do it. That's one. Two is the financial year end. Uh, for Wowzer well, Bookkeeping, it's October 31st. I'll show you after. So I'm going to change this to October 31st. And also, you can check your time zone. We're not in Eastern Canada. We're in Pacific, what we call Pacific. So I'm going to change it. Maybe yours is fine when it comes up. So I'm going to change it to that. Then go next. Uh, you don't want to set up any settings. Just uh, invoice settings. Keep going. No, skip this step. Same with users, you can go back and do it after. Same with the one before. If you have exchange rates, you can set them up here or you can set them up later. I'm just gonna keep going. Same with tax rates, you know, you can just keep going, I'm going to. So this is the one area I wanna just stop a little bit, okay? You can import from a file or use the default. Just use the default and I'll explain to you why after I hit next. So when you're uh, restoring from your original file, you want to bring over the chart of accounts from your original file. So you don't want any of these. So the whole idea is to delete all of them. So click up here, the code, it highlights all of them and you delete them. And yes, there's 42 in Canada, I think there's 43 or 44 in Australia, whatever they are, just delete them all. Now, the one thing you'll notice is the locked files because there's a lock on it you'll not be able to get rid of those. That's fine uh, because the uh, the restore will work with these anyways. Nothing to worry about, okay? So then you want to hit next. And it'll say no bank accounts added. Yeah, that's true. The reason being is because the uh, your chart of accounts on your original zero file will also bring in the bank account. So you want to go, yes, continue anyways. Do you want to continue without adding? Yes. Now here you're going to get into what we call the conversion date. I'll show you after where to go get it from the original file. I know mine's October 31st, 2016. So you'll notice here to get April 30th, the month is the month after May. So if I want October and I want it to, it has to be the month after, it has to be November. So if I go to November, 
notice it's exchanges to October 31st and I said 2016 this has to be the right year it's just the month is the only one so 2016 is that one notice there it is right there go next and also for now you'll be entering in the conversion balances I'll show you what those are as well uh, we're presently working on uh, on um, making sure that they upload so you'll never have to worry about the conversion date or the conversion balance okay so for now let's just uh, continue to next and there it is set up okay now I'm gonna go to the original file so how do you know it's set up because there is the name here it says welcome to zero I'm gonna go to the original and show you where the, uh, the financial year of October 31st is and also the um, the conversion balance so we'll go to the original file because it's not here and that one's called Wells of Bookkeeping Services and there it is right there go to uh, accounting go to advanced okay the uh, the uh, the um, the financial year end where you set it is right here in financial settings this is where I got it from and remember I said it was October 31st there it is right there okay and and that's my time zone as well now with with regards to the uh, the um, um, conversion balance go back to advanced accounting here we were before and the bottom one says conversion balances and here they are all right here and notice October 31st 2016 here's what needs to be entered like I said in the future uh, in the very near future um, this will be done uh, automatically we're working on it right now we've been able to pull the data down we just have to put it in okay and if you have any questions please let me know